Salutations. It's a quick video, uh, a double video, I suppose, to say Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and Happy Alternative Holiday if you don't, whatever it happens to be. Um, I've got the cold just in time for Christmas, so that's great. Uh, so for me, 2016 has been a year of mixed fortunes but uh, generally it's on the positive side for me so I've moved house moved house back in February as many of you will know um, many of you won't know that I had a, a neighbour that I had next door to me at the old place who gave us a lot of problems um, caused us quite a bit of stress but We've moved house now and our neighbours are great, everything's cool the gang. But uh, I don't hold any grudges or ill will towards my old neighbour who shall remain nameless and if that person is watching just now then I wish you a happy Christmas and I hope that you find the love and stability in your life that frankly you need. Um, we moved house and here we are in our lovely new house. Here is the lovely Christmas tree that my lovely wife, Mrs. Sikiu. Well, you can't speak to There's another tree as well. But there's another tree through there that Mrs. Sikiu is now going to zoom in on. Here we go. That's my favourite one because it's got multicoloured lights and that's what you're supposed to have on your <laughs> Whereas this one is just like a, because that's the way she wants it, Christmas tree. So, also I attempted again weight loss this year with uh, mixed success, but I need to carry that on again next year. Um, I've been going to the gym and I'm going to start up a, a regular membership to the gym. This year, as far as brewings are, brewings, as far as brewings are concerned, I brewed myself a red ale, and let's see, there was a pale ale back at the start of the year here. That was the first brew in this house. A red ale, a stout, and I've just done another pale ale, um, and a lager. I think I've successfully brewed the lager this time. Um, if you watched the Fermentatron video where I showed you the high-tech piece of equipment that I have in the garage that's specially designed for fermenting things, then uh, you'll have seen the big bucket of lager that I had. I bottled that up just last weekend, I think it was. And I, I think, I had a little taste. I think I've done not bad. I think it's come out tasting like actual lager, so that's good. So by summer of next year, be having barbecues with my own homebrew lager from scratch just made out of malt and hops and yeast so that's good um, and also recently you may have noticed some videos that I've been putting up about sour beers and my faltering footsteps into the world of sour beer now today I have a sour beer Mrs. Secure, are you able to... Yeah, Mrs. Secure has zoomed in. Okay, so it's a Cantillon, at least that's how you, I think that's how you say it. That's the brewery, 
Brewers of Belgium's most authentic Lambic, and it's a Lambic, 100% Lambic beer, and it's a, a Goose. I'm not really sure what a Goose is. It's 5.5% alcohol. Uh, the Goose Cantalon, a real spontaneous fermentation beer, is entirely made of made up of Lambic. This Lambic is brewed with organically grown wheat and malted barley with dried hops. The Goose Cantalon is a sour beer that contains absolutely no sugar to be drunk preferably within 20 years after the bottling date. <laughs> beer with taste evolution. So there, there we go. Now, this has a, a crown cap and a cork in it. Not really sure why, it's some kind of something specific to the sour style, I suppose. I've never had a Cantalon. I've never had a purely Lamic beer, and for those of you who don't know what a Lamic beer is, although many of you will, so this is a Lamic beer, and for people who don't know what a Lamic beer is, it means that it's fermented spontaneously using wild yeasts that are in the air. Normally, if you were making a beer, you would make your wort with mashing and boiling, and then you would add yeast as a, a purposeful addition to ferment the beer and you want to try and make sure that it remains sterile in as much as the only yeast that's in the fermentation vessel is the one you've put in there with no others managing to get in from the surrounding air whereas in this case what they do is they make a wart and they put it into these big vats that are called cool ships which are made of um, brass no no they're not made of brass they're made of copper of course they're made of copper and they're left for 24 hours they just soak up any wild yeast that's in the air. So essentially what you get is a beer that is fermented using just it, the, the air around. So it's kind of like leaving a cheese out the, the fridge and whatever happens to land on it and grows mold, grows mold and there you are. So let's give this a try and uh, we'll see what like. Right, so here we are. The Cantalon Gizu, 100% Lamic. Give it a lash. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Right. As far as sour beers are concerned, Normally, if this was a pale ale or an IPA or something, I'd put this into this glass and then I'd go swirly, 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 because I want to get a head on it. I don't know. I mean, it, you meant to do that with several years? You could leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know. So let's have a sniff. Okay, well, it smells pretty good. Now, I've got a cold at the minute, so my sense of smell really isn't that great. It's not great usually anyway, as regular viewers of the channel will know. So I can smell something. Fruity, I believe, but I'm not getting much. So I'm just going to dive in and watch for the eye. nowhere near as sour as I was expecting it to be. It's the two previous sours that I tasted, there was a framboise and a cherry red rye I think it was. They were far more sour than this. This has a sourness to it obviously but far less pronounced and um, you can definitely taste malt in there there's a, a tartness that hits the tongue on the back of the, the, the taste receptors it's not what I was expecting I honestly was expecting something that I might not even be able to drink but the 
this is really good. Um, I wish I could describe flavours better. Uh, I'm not that great at that at the best of times, frankly. There is a really prominent mouthfeel to it. It's very thick isn't the right word. High gravity, maybe. hands on since several years and you're not sure which one to try. This one's probably pretty good addition for your first 40 into the third beer field. Pretty tasty stuff. Well thank you once again for all your support during the year. Um, I really appreciate it. It's always a constant source of amazement to me that people want to watch what I have to say and do about anything, frankly. So, thank you very much to new subscribers, thank you very much to old subscribers, thank you to anyone who watches the channel and maybe doesn't subscribe, that's cool as that. So, have a happy Christmas and a merry new year, and uh, I'll see you in 2017. So for me, and for Mrs. Secure on the camera, cheery bye for now. Thank you.